couldn't sail with our boats, but we could still get out to sea. This is the ferry that transits people to and from Saint Antao, the island across the Sao Vicente Canal. And as you can see, COVID-19 guidelines were in effect. Everyone had to fill out a questionnaire, get a temperature check, and of course, wear a mask and keep physical distance. The new normal, eh? We're getting on a new ferry. Well, a new used one, it appears. It had been a long time for all of us since we had been to Saint Antao, and we're all very excited. I get a good look at Galapa and his new colors. He seems a little close, but he's just fine where he is. I got friends looking after him. And off we were across the canal. This is also a lifeline for the residents of the island. It's how some goods are transported to and from Sao Vicente. Some say this type of ferry boat is not suited to the sea state here. Well, today, the sea was relatively calm, and it seemed it was fine to us. Well, it seems to adapt to the pandemic guidelines, too. It's about a 45 minute fun ride from port to port. We're not so worried about viruses flying around here, maybe a few stray curly curls. And here we are in Porto Novo. It's the second time I've come by ferry. It's cool too, and it offers nice views. I've anchored several times here, and it's great, most of the time. But this will be a different type of excursion, because we have a car. Thank you, Peter. Sap. Sap. Yeah. Peter here they don't say sap, they say sap. Sap? Yeah. Sap. Oh yeah? Sap. Yeah, it's different. Sap. 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 We were spellbound by the scenery. Girls hardly spoke, which is rare. They marveled at their world, their unique pikini planet floating in the blue distance. And Peter? Well, he got to ride the newly fitted smooth black asphalt.
By now the road is cobblestones as it's been for decades. And it's time to stop for a beverage of choice. Me and Mauricio's choice is Agade Santantau, or Santantau water, grog. She calls me her grog brother. Of course, that makes her my grog sister. We're the only ones with this fine taste choice. And she teaches me her street Creole lingo. Was a double, diable. This game is one of my learning objectives. I want to play. Further along the coast are the ruins of a synagogue in a town named Synagoga. There is some Jewish history here, apparently. And of course, there's Jewish descendants who are Cape Verdeans. I wish we had come here a little earlier and we'd have been dressed in our best bikinis. But who cares? This golden hour moment is just, um, uh, it's, but I'm speechless. We drove up a steep mountain road and down again in pitch black. And in the morning... girls had a whole program planned. If you call their plans, plans. And as plans are written in sand, well, we got stuck here for a while. Okay, because it permitted me to talk to one of the supervisors. And now, since I speak and understand Creole much better, I learned of how impressive these works are here. Obviously, they are building a new road, which will link the fishing village of Cruzinhas as well as Chai Gresa and their grog to the main towns and port. You know, the, there's an antenna up there. So I saw the um, phone antenna. No, it's on the right. Up there. Uh, I'm like, how'd they get it up there? By helicopters? No. 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 I, what? no. no, not mules. By foot, piece by piece. Giant antennas to serve us, us mobiles. I learned that the heavy machinery came on floating platforms. Now, I would have loved to have seen that and how they managed it. They plan a new port in Cruzinhas, as well as an airport in Porto Novo, and an extension jetty to dock cruise ships. COVID-19 may have halted some things, but not progress here, at least. They said they had three days of rain here. A lot. So here we are, Santantao. Stunning, stunning, stunning island. With my stunning friend, Maricia. Hola, tudo bem? Yeah, <laughs> this place is just so amazingly, extremely beautiful. Wow.
I'm surrounded by sheer beauty, human in nature, and we're about to be blessed with yet another beauty. It's Fanny, or Fanny Fun as I call her. She missed yesterday's ferry, but will not miss today's fun adventures. To lunch, we strolled the lazy colored streets of Ribeira Grande. Of course, Mauricia, being a rock star, had fans in town. This statue honors local women. It says it is an homage to Sant'Antonese women in recognition of their courage, resilience, and capacity to overcome the adversities of life. And women here are proof of that. Right, Fanny Fun? Ash. 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 Ash.